Hello and welcome to TVRI World Breaking News. Today we will bring to you on the topic on the shooting at the former US President Donald Trump that happened recently or on Saturday, recently on his rally at Pennsylvania. So this is Breaking News. I'm Stephanie Silitonga. <laughs> The Federal Bureau of Investigations, or FBI, is looking into an assassination attempt against former U.S. President Donald Trump at a rally in Pennsylvania on Saturday. Authorities said in a news conference that ended just after midnight. Kevin Rojek, special agent in charge of the FBI Pittsburgh field office, said the FBI was not prepared to identify the shooter and didn't have a motive for the incident that left one person dead and two injured. This evening we had what we're calling an assassination attempt against our former president, Donald Trump. It's still an active crime scene. As I mentioned, we have a number of agents on scene. We also are working closely with other federal agencies, our state partners, and our local police partners as well. Again, at this time, we are not prepared to identify who the shooter is. Uh, we are close to that identification, and as soon as we are 100% confident in who that individual is, we will share it with the press. With that being said, also, we do not currently have an identified motive, although our investigators are working tirelessly to attempt to identify what that motive was. The, the single greatest priority would be to identifying a motive and whether there was anyone else involved. Uh, at this time, we have no reason to believe that there is any other existing threat out there. Donald Trump was standing on stage behind a podium six minutes into his speech at an outdoor rail in Barrel, Pennsylvania. His head turned to the right under clear sky and a broiling heat. Trump slammed U.S. President Joe Biden's immigration policy and mocked him as the worst president in the history of our country when suddenly there was a volley of pops, what sounded like gunshots. We have criminals, we have drug dealers, we have people that should not be here. And it's much tougher than if it happened the, you know, we had the strongest border ever. In recorded history, we had the best border. In fact, if they could ever put up a chart, I don't know if they can do it. Do you guys have access to that chart that I love so much? You don't mind if I go off teleprompter, do you? Because these teleprompters are so damn boring, I try and explain that. Oh, it is, wow. You guys are doing it, they're getting better with time. My guys, take a look at that chart. Take a look at the arrow on the bottom. See the big red, the red arrow, right? So that's when I left office. That was the lowest point, and that comes right from the government services, comes right out of Border Patrol. Take a look at that. So that arrow is the lowest amount of illegal immigration ever in recorded history into our country. And then... And then the worst president in the history of our country took over. And look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh.
sounds of multiple shots were heard at Donald Trump rally in Pennsylvania with the Republican presidential candidate raising a fist as he was escorted to a vehicle by the U.S. Secret Service video footage from event showed. Video showed blood on his ear and snipers on roof near the stage where Trump was standing. The rally was being held in Butler in the greater Pittsburgh region in Pennsylvania. The shooting was assassination's attempt on Trump, the FBI says. Footage showed the U.S. Secret Service and law enforcement officers after multiple shots rang out at Donald Trump rally in Pennsylvania with the Republican presidential candidate grimacing and raising his right hand to his right ear as shots rang out. Bodyguards then crowded around Trump as he ducked below the podium and armed officers took up positions at the front of the stage. Trump repeatedly raised his fist to the crowd and shouted as he was escorted to a vehicle by the U.S. Secret Service. CNN reported that Trump was injured but gave no other details. It was not clear how or what injuries he may sustain. Video showed him with blood on his right ear and the right side of his face. Meantime, Donald Trump is safe and protective measures have been implemented around him after an incident at a campaign rally for the former U.S. president on Saturday in Pennsylvania, the U.S. Secret Service said. This is now an active Secret Service investigation and further information will be released when available, the Secret Service said in a post on X. Aerial footage also showed the empty rally site where former U.S. President and Republican candidate Donald Trump was shot in the right ear. Trump was shot in the right ear during a campaign rally, sparking panic in the crowd and spattering the Republican presidential candidate's blood across his face before he emerged and pumped his fist in the air, appearing to mouth the words, fight. The shooter was dead, one rally attendee was killed, and two other spectators were injured, the Secret Service said in a statement. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear, Trump said on his truth social platform. U.S. President Joe Biden called for an end to political violence after a gunfire erupted at Republican changer Donald Trump's political rally in Pennsylvania earlier on Saturday, saying in televised remarks that the former president appeared to be doing well. Thanks for coming, folks. I've been thoroughly briefed by all the agencies in the federal government as to the situation, based on what we know now. I have tried to get a hold of Donald. Uh, he's with his doctors. Uh, they, apparently, he's doing well. I plan on talking to them shortly, I hope, when I get back to the uh, telephone. Look, there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. And so, and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who, and we have more detail to come relative to other injured, other people maybe injured in the audience. I don't have all that detail. We'll make that available to you. I may be able to come back a little later tonight, but we'll put out a statement if we don't, if I'm not able to get, if, if it's not convenient for you all. But the bottom line is. The, the Trump rally was a rally that he should have been able to be conducted peacefully without any problem. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. I mean, everybody, everybody must condemn it. Everybody. I'll keep you informed, and if I am able to speak to, the, to Donald, I'll, I'll let you know that as well. But so far, it appears 
he's doing well, number one. Number two, that they're thoroughly investigating what happened to anyone else in the audience. I have, we have some reports, but not final reports. And every agency in the federal government, I'll be, and I'm going back to, to my phone to speak with the federal agencies that are being put together again to give me an updated briefing. Has anything happened? They learned any more in the last couple hours. So thank you very much, and I hope I get to speak to them tonight, and I'll get to back to you if I do. Okay? Mr. President, do you think this was an assassination attempt? I don't know enough. To, I, I, have, I, have an, I have an opinion, but I don't have any facts. So I want to make sure we have all the facts before I make some comment, any more comments. Thank you. Are you worried, President? Was the security failure? Police in New York ramped up security at Ram Tower on Saturday following a shooting at former President Donald Trump's rally in Fort Worth, Pennsylvania that was being investigated as an attempt on his life. Uniformed officers and a police dog patrolled outside the building's main entrance on Manhattan's Fifth Avenue. Meantime, before the incident, police were out in force in Butler, Pennsylvania, just hours after Donald Trump was shot in the right ear during a campaign rally. The shooting sparked panic and strict Republican presidential candidates' blood across his face. The shooter was dead. One rally attendee was killed and two other spectators were injured, the Secret Service said in a statement. The incident was being investigated as an assassination attempt, a source told Reuters. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese condemned the shooting during former U.S. President Donald Trump's rally. This is what the Prime Minister has to say. Uh, along with all Australians, I was shocked by the terrible scenes at former President Trump's campaign event in Pennsylvania. I'm relieved by the news that the former president is safe and doing fine, and I wish him and his family well. Trump was shot in Australia the right ear during a campaign rally on Saturday, sparking panic and streaking the Republican presidential candidate's blood across his face before he emerged. The shooter was dead, one rally attendee was killed, and two other spectators were injured, the Secret Service said in a statement. The incident was being investigated as an assassination attempt, a source said. During a news conference, Albanese wished Trump and his family well and said that regardless of one's political views, there is no place for the events we saw today. Political issues, this isn't a day for politics. And after the break, we will come back with more updates on news on the Donald Trump rally shooting. So stay with us. We're still on TVR I World to Breaking News, where we are bringing to you live the updates on the former U.S. President Donald Trump rally shooting that happened recently or on Saturday. So let's continue to our updates. Eyewitness footage captured on Saturday showed Donald Trump being surrounded by half a dozen Secret Service agents after he was shot at an elections rally in Pennsylvania. Other law enforcement officers armed with rifles also took to the stage. Reuters was able to independently verify the location and date with the original file metadata from the source. The Republican presidential candidate was shot in the right ear during a campaign rally on Saturday, sparking panic and streaking blood across his face. And also, a motorcycle believed to belong to Donald Trump was seen leaving a local Pennsylvania hospital shortly after the former president was shot at a rally in Butler on Saturday. Trump was shot in the right ear, 
sparking panic and striking the Republican presidential candidate's blood across his face before he emerged and pumped his fist in the air, appearing to mouth the words, fight, fight, fight. As Milwaukee prepared to host the Republican convention, a wave of shock went through the city after shots rang out in Pennsylvania, appearing to strike former President Donald Trump. Gunfire erupted at Donald Trump rally on Saturday, sparking panic in the crowd and spattering the Republican presidential candidate with blood before he emerged and definitely pumped his fist in the air before being ushered to a waiting car. It's actually very scary. I mean, what's going on in America right now is actually very sad. Um, obviously, they're trying to do something to take Donald Trump down, um, but the people will prevail. Justice will be served and Trump will be back in 2024. I mean, it makes you sick, really. It gives you the, the political discourse and the it's always been bad, but for that, and I think so much of it is just hype that, you know, that gets people riled up to a point where that would happen. Or that opposing political views are so contentious that people can't stand the thought of someone else's political views to the point where they would take action to make an attempt at a candidate's life. It's horrible. Trump grimaced and grabbed his ear before security hustled him away. The Secret Service and the former president's campaign said Trump was safe following the shooting in Butler, Pennsylvania, about 30 miles north of Pittsburgh. Live video showed blood spattered on Trump's right cheek and ear. Donald Trump was shot in his right ear during a campaign rally, sparking panic in the crowd and spattering the Republican presidential candidate's blood across his face before he emerged and pumped his fist in the air, appearing to mouth the words, fight. The shooter was dead. One rally attendee was killed and two other spectators were injured, the Secret Service said in a statement. As the shots rang out, Trump grabbed his right ear with his right hand, then brought his hand down to look at it before dropping to his knees behind the podium before Secret Service agents swarmed and covered him. Todd Gerhard, a Trump supporter who was in the crowd, described the incident as horrifying and held back tears when he described the chaos. I'm very upset. It's, it, I can't say for sure who's behind this, but I'll tell you what, it's only going to cause more division in this country because of the people that support President Trump. Um, I feel like the nomination is coming up on Monday, and I feel like they, they, they don't want him. They don't want this man to be president because he's trying his hardest to save America, and that's not what they want. They want America to fall. They're scared. Yeah, they're yeah. scared. You're right. Yeah. They're scared. I was standing there and uh, all of a sudden it sounds like firecrackers going off but then I heard the shots and uh, then all of a sudden somebody hollers get down on the ground and everybody's going down on the ground as low as they can get then the Secret Service comes running up through and says everybody out get out of here now and they ushered us out of the area the Secret Service and the former president's campaign said Trump was safe following the shooting in Butler, Pennsylvania, about 30 miles or 50 kilometers north of Pittsburgh. The shooter's identity and motive were not immediately clear, leading Republicans and Democrats quickly condemned the violence. Supporters of Donald Trump gathered near his sprawling Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida after the Republican presidential candidate was shot in the air during a campaign rally. Supporters of Donald Trump gathered near his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida after he was shot in the air at a campaign rally on July the 13th. Trump's blood was streaked across his face following the shooting and prompted his security agents to swarm him before he emerged and pumped his fists in the air, appearing to mouth the words, fight. We just want a good president, that's all. 
there's nothing, that's all. A good president that watches people's pockets, good life, good morals, values, whatever, but especially economy. Oh. He tried to lift his feet and say, five, five, I five. saw him put his fist up, yeah. that he's still here. Yeah. God bless God bless him. I don't know if I could have done it. Yeah. What a brave, courageous man. How would you feel? You tell me, what do you see coming if they shot him today? Is this your only hope? Yes. Yeah. Trump is your only hope. And you better pay attention to it. But you don't have any more chances than that. No. I don't see anybody else capable of standing up to a shooter. Yeah. The shooter was dead, one rally attendee was killed, and two other spectators were injured, the Secret Service said in a statement. The incident was being investigated as an assassination attempt, officials said. The attack on Donald Trump raised questions about how the Republican presidential candidate is protected on the campaign trail and what caused the apparent security lapses at Saturday's rally. As a former president and the Republican presidential candidate, Trump is protected primarily by the Secret Service. There's different layers of protection that are put in place for various types of visits need to remember that former President Trump is just that, a former president. So he doesn't necessarily, uh, unless based upon uh, intelligence situations, get all of the different assets that are available to the president or the vice president. He does get a very robust former protection detail that is with him all the time, but he doesn't necessarily get all of the different assets that are available. So uh, I think that there are some aspects of this uh, incident that are going to be investigated. There are going to be uh, after action reports to see exactly what happened here, why it happened, what the Secret Service can do better next time to try to continue to develop its policies and procedures uh, to be the very best that we can be every day. During most of Trump's campaign stops, local police aid the Secret Service in securing the venue. Agents from other agencies within the Department of Homeland Security, such as the Transportation Security Administration, occasionally help. It is no easy task. Many Trump rallies feature thousands of audience members, take place in the open air, and last for hours. Days before the event, Secret Service plans and rehearses for the event. Just before the rally, agents scan the venue for bombs or other threats, and Trump invariably arrives in a fortified motorcade. My guess is that the Secret Service, during its protective advance for this event, designated a hospital. Uh, the motorcade agents ran the route to that hospital, so the uh, limousine driver knows exactly how to get there. That is done at every uh, venue that a protectee of the Secret Service goes to. Obviously, 99.9% .9 of the time, we never have to worry about going to the hospital. But in this instance, the uh, motorcade moved directly to the hospital, the local hospital. The president would be checked out, admitted if necessary, treated if necessary. And if not, uh, immediately moved to his uh, plane to take him back to wherever he wanted to go, whether that was a DC or a Mar-a-Lago, that would be determined by the, pres the former president's staff and his Secret Service detail. The Secret Service said shortly after the shooting that it had begun an investigation and briefed Democratic President Joe Biden, though the agency did not immediately respond to additional requests for comment regarding its protocols. In the moments after Trump was injured, the former president was quickly surrounded by Secret Service personnel who formed a human shield, while heavily armed agents in body armor and taunting rifles also took to the stage and appeared to scan the area for threats. Trump was whisked by their agents to a black SUV and taken to a local hospital, according to the campaign. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro condemned the incident that occurred during a rally of presidential candidate and former U.S. President Donald Trump. During an event in Carabobo, the Venezuelan president wished Trump a speedy recovery and said that although they have been adversaries, he wished the former president a long life. 
Trump was shot in the right ear during a campaign rally on Saturday, sparking panic and streaking the Republican presidential candidate's blood across his face before he emerged and pumped his fist in the air, appearing to mouth the words, fight. The shooter was dead, one rally attendee was killed and two other spectators were injured. The Secret Service said in a statement, the incident was being investigated as an assassination attempt, a source told Reuters. And that wraps up today's editions of Breaking News on U former U.S. President Donald Trump shooting. I'm Stephanie Sirotonga. Thanks for watching and bye for now.